We expect a potentially historically cold and snowy winter ahead. So let's dive into my temperature and precipitation forecast for the months ahead. Primarily, we expect warmer temperatures along the southwestern area of the United States. The reason for this is there is very, very warm waters in the eastern Pacific Ocean, and that ocean water is going to influence the air temperatures. We call this a positive PNA when we get this kind of warm column up the west coast. In turn, this warmer air pushing up the west coast creates an imbalance, and it actually forces the colder air down into the eastern states, where you can see we do expect below average temperatures to really, really flourish we saw this last winter. You might remember it was quite cold. It wasn't the snowiest winter in the central and eastern states, but it was really, really cold. We do expect very similar things this year, perhaps with more snow this time around. Here's the precipitation forecast. It's important to remember. A lot of you have probably heard of El Nino. Uh, less people have heard of La Nina, which is the opposite. And we are in a weaker La Nina this year. And oftentimes that is going to cause drier conditions over the southwest because the active storm track is actually being pushed further northward through the northwest here where we do expect above average precipitation and from this point because we have a trough in the east based on our temperature forecast we do expect a lot of these storms to dive along that jet stream and kind of travel through these areas perhaps sometimes ending up offshore where we could get some big coastal snowstorms a lot of them might head further inland and be a little bit uh, less intense with their southward dip, and that would bring a lot of it further northward for the Great Lakes, Upper Midwest, Ohio Valley, and interior northeast. In addition to this northwestern storm track that moves across the entire nation, we do actually expect a lot of clippers as well. Oftentimes when you see a much colder winter, you get a lot more clipper systems moving through, and that's why we're a little extra confident in the above average precipitation for these areas in the Northern Plains, Midwest, and Great Lakes, because typically they are going to see the most activity due to these clippers that will be frequently moving through this winter is what I'm currently projecting. Now again, to see a deep dive into these two factors, as well as our snowfall forecast and overall forecast, go ahead and check out our YouTube video, our final forecast, and check that out today.